The pink ribbon is a symbol of the global campaign against breast cancer. A beautiful promise resulting from an encounter between two women who befriended each other. From the U.S. to rural Taidong, Taiwan, and launched in the early 21st century, this important public campaign we are unveiling to you is the Pink Campaign. Olivia He Jung was an outstanding banker living in the USA. She was named as one of the U.S. White House Export Policy Committee members due to her outstanding professional banking performance. Working in the U.S. for many years as a banker, Olivia stumbled upon a unique venture capital opportunity. She witnessed how high-tech medical equipment could precisely perform minimum invasive treatment for cancer patients. Olivia was astonished to learn that this industry that could save so many lives lacked funds to make it widely accessible. In 1998, it seemed God called Olivia to leave banking and she devoted herself as a leader in the high-tech medical industry. When we design our products, we instill a goal and mission to allow patients to come in with a sense of stability, let them feel that they are cared for by us. So everything is about her, the patient. All of the focus is on the patient. We know that touching her spirit is the beginning of the examination. We hold this principle in all our centers. We have a good technology, but our true goal is to care for patients. 30 years ago, Taiwan's medical health education was still lacking. Jennifer Chun, with the spirit of do what others were unwilling to do, actively developed patient support groups, exerting influence over education with particular success in breast cancer patient support groups. 2003. Serving Taidong for more than 50 years, St. Mary's Hospital faced financial and operational difficulties. Called by God, Jennifer left Taipei to remote Taidong, where she faced a severe lack of resources for health care. She devoted her time to St. Mary's Hospital, which was known as a hospital for poor people. St. Mary's Hospital received the Medical Devotion Award many times, making it the most frequent recipient of this prestigious health care award in Taiwan. Almost 30 years ago, I worked in Taipei doing breast cancer prevention work. I was distressed by the many poor conditions of breast cancer patients. Over the years, much progress has been made, and a couple years ago, I passed the Breast Cancer Patient Care Work Baton to an experienced team I helped to establish. To my surprise, when I arrived in Taidong, I saw many patients' conditions were as poor as what I had seen 20 years ago in Taipei when we first started breast cancer prevention work. I was so shocked and so sorry for people in Taidong. Kung Tai Foundation, such a small NGO, has more than 3,000 volunteers and did what other people can't do, won't do, or fail to do in this society. They do the most difficult things. Ever since, I have admired Jennifer very, very much. Last year, I happened to have had the opportunity to return to Taiwan. I told Jennifer, I'm back, and she told me that she was in Taidong. Olivia is a charitable person who has never passed up a chance to help out when Taiwan was in need. She first visited Taidong on April 23, 2012. She was just visiting an old friend, but she was also curious about why Jennifer came to Taidong to serve. She did not expect her talk with Jennifer would linger in her mind all the way back to the United States. I know one sister in Chenggong, Taidong, Sister Huang. She was an outstanding social worker, contributing greatly to the people of Taidong. One day I went to see her, and she told me that she was diagnosed with breast cancer and that the cancer cells metastasized to her bones, giving her back pain. I was very distraught. I asked Sister Huang, have you ever had a breast cancer screening before? She said, I have done a breast cancer screening but did not find anything. When I discovered the cancer, it had already metastasized throughout my body. It made me wonder, how could the medical care in Hualien and Taidong counties be so underdeveloped? If nuns with medical knowledge have encountered such problems, what about the rest of us? When sisters developed breast cancer, there was no proper treatment to help her in time. Diagnosis and treatment were poor then, so women just died. My heart was crushed, so I asked Jennifer, what can we do? In Taipei, in my patient support groups, I take care of over 3,000 patients. But why is it in Taidong? Once a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer, 
It is like she is sentenced to death. Although Olivia was busy in Boston, her heart was with the sisters in Taidong. On the other side of the globe, Jennifer was calmly working on daily operational tasks of the hospital. But her calm was disturbed by heartache and shock when Sister Huang came down with late-stage breast cancer. I only knew that she was doing a job related to breast cancer in the United States, something to do with MRIs. But I didn't really understand. I just wanted to work with her. I didn't anticipate or ask questions or expect that she can solve this problem for us. Just at that moment, I wanted to share the sorrow and the shock with a good friend. Taidong suffers from a lack of medical resources. Of course, this machine is the world's most high-end breast cancer diagnostic tool. They, St. Mary's Hospital, must have one. But they do not have the resources to buy this machine. So I felt that we should give them one. Let them have a chance to be able to use the world's most high-end technology to help the sisters with the world's most beautiful hearts. So in this way, we decided to find ways to donate this machine to Taiwan. Olivia wrote an email to Jennifer saying that for half price, Taidong could have its own cutting edge diagnostic tool. This act of charity really moved Jennifer, but in a letter back to Olivia, Jennifer made it clear that even at half price, St. Mary's Hospital simply could not afford it. After a time, Olivia found more ways to make sure they got their machine. With the help of others, as well as fundraising overseas, Olivia wanted to bring the machine costs down from half price to being able to donate the entire machine free of charge. Letters flew back and forth discussing how they could accomplish this beautiful deed. The idea was firm. These two ladies were both born in Taiwan. One lived in Taidong, another in Boston, but they had the same thing in mind care for the women's health in their home country. Actually, I was also very scared because I feel like, goodness, we are such a small hospital. Can we do it? But interestingly, during our conversation, I suddenly heard a voice telling me that this is God's choice. I do not have the right to refuse. My first feeling was, thank God. This machine has the potential to help and save many lives. When they said that they were willing to accept, I felt that this may be the arrangement of God. Let these things turn back their focus on the main issue, care for people. It is God's will. This is a good thing.